Hey guys, so I'm gonna share something with you and, it, and it's gonna be probably the best advice you've ever gotten if you're just starting a pressure washing business, right? So I, I see a lot of bad advice or else good advice with bad delivery on uh, Facebook groups for pressure washing. Whenever you're just starting out in the pressure washing, you don't wanna go with the Facebook ad guys, okay? Facebook ads don't do that great for the service-based business. They do great for product pushing, courses, stuff like that. But for service-based businesses, Facebook ads suck, really. I mean, they do okay. If you do them yourself, you can keep costs down low, but to pay somebody, it's a waste of money, really. Especially when you see, like if you're new and you get any work, you're gonna be excited and you're gonna be like, well, look, it's look, it's working. It's not working. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna tell you how to do it for cheap and it's gonna work better, right? So first off, don't make any drastic decisions. You're definitely gonna to wanna to Google my business page, but what I suggest you do is save up some money, okay? And if you live in an area like me that's not that, that doesn't have that much money, you wanna save up your money and rent out an office space, or uh, an address, really. You just want an address in like a richer neighborhood, like your ideal neighborhood. In an area that's like, for me, it'd be like Wexford Cranberry. And I thought about this a long time ago. I didn't pull the trigger. And a franchise just moved right in. They're, they're, they're not even from the state. They're from a different state. And they're using an address in like one of the richest towns there is so that they rank there for Google My Business, right? So there, there's a lot to do with Google My Business. Join our Facebook group. You'll learn a lot about it. I would not pull the trigger right away on Google My Business. I would hold off until you can afford to rent an office space or uh, an address is all you need, really. In the ideal area you want to work in if you want to work in an area outside of your area if you want to work inside of your area if your area has enough work which mine don't i'm ranking in an area that doesn't mean no good then go ahead and right off the bat get a google my business page keep up with it do everything make keywords are ideal like when somebody searches google for parking garage cleaning near me if you don't have that listed as one of your services you're not going to show up on google right web page is important too but when you're new, you have more time than money, okay? It's not that hard to make web pages anymore. They have software that makes it as easy as making a Facebook page, right? They have plugins that make freaking um, SE, on-page SEO as easy as following directions. And then legit.com has freelancers. So basically, if you were to pay somebody to make your, say 2,500 bucks to build you a web page, if you took your time, if you have time, if, you, if you're new and you, you have time to research and find out, if, if you're new and you have the time to figure out how to do it all yourself, instead of paying them that 2,500 bucks, if you went straight to freelancers to make you citations and get you backlinks and stuff, your $2,500 would go twice as far, literally. So if you have the time and the patience, I suggest you learn it. You don't get a web page right off the bat, or else you get a web page right off the bat, but it's not gonna rank, obviously, because you're not gonna know exactly what you're doing. You wanna make sure you go to Google Search Index and upload your web page so that it shows up on Google searches. You wanna go to Bing Search Index and upload your page so that it shows up on like Bing and Yahoo and all that. Um, and then also, as far as getting jobs, I know I'm a little fur into this and usually I'm, I get right to the point. As far as getting jobs when you're new, Craigslist, five bucks service ads. Get one once a week. It's gonna get you work. It's gonna get you more work probably than going with Facebook ad guys because your ideal customer is older. They're like 40 plus, right? Trust me, somebody that's 40 plus knows what the heck Craigslist is and they still use it. Um, people don't really use Facebook for, ser for finding services, but buy, sell, trade groups, local area contractor finder groups, if you list your service for free on there, you will get work. Uh, I also strongly suggest, strongly suggest building your own Facebook groups, your own buy, sell, trade groups, your own contractor finder groups. Work on getting people inside of those groups. Build yourself an audience where you can control the content. I, I strongly suggest doing that. I, I brought that up to, there's like a, a network of guys that we all clean. I brought that up and it kind of got snuffed. Like la I got laughed at when I first brought that up. I tried to get people to help me build groups. They wouldn't pull their, their end, so I just checked that group off and start another one. 
where I'm at now, I'm sitting pretty good with my groups. And say, like Angie's List screwed me big time. I wanna get back at them. I'm building my local area contractor finder groups. I'm gonna build a website and I'm gonna make sure that customers and contractor, just quality. It's gonna be legit. It's not gonna be Angie's List where they get brand new guys that aren't branded yet that they rip off and take their money for basically nothing. It's gonna be, if, if you aren't getting jobs and you don't have to pay. If you're getting jobs and you pay. And you have to be vetted because I wanna make sure, it's all quality. I, I believe in everything should be branded as quality. But um, yeah, by the way, don't use Angie's List. Don't, I wouldn't use Home Advisor. If you have to, you have to. But I, I just wouldn't. Also networking. Networking is extremely important. With this pandemic and everything, the government handing out money, people are having a hard time finding employees. So if you reach out to local painting companies, masonry companies, you, you present yourself as professional, they're gonna give you work. So you just basically, and, and I like to go for the ones in the, the, like the best of the best areas. Whenever I see people in these rich areas, like contractors, I try to network with them because then when I'm working for them, I'm in these areas, everybody sees my banner on the back of my truck, everybody sees my magnets, everybody sees me working, people are stopping me, asking me how much for their house and this and that. Um, it it, it kind of is a catch-22 because you can't get as much money usually. Well, you, could, you can do whatever you want to do, but you might not keep them for long. I, I charge a little less for, for business to business, and it's been doing me well. And it's, it's like free advertising too because you're in these areas where it's like all your ideal customers are in these areas and now you're working right in this area it's 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 a win-win and also whenever you do slow down whenever you build up it's not gonna happen overnight but you build up a big enough network say you get slow you just call up one of the people in your network like hey how's it going bro you know like you got any work and they usually give it to you or, or will toss you down to the next person and, and also when you network Say you network with, you know, I network with a lot of people. Like I, I work for a lot of business. Like most of my work now is commercial. And I, I hate to say this guys, but because of the group gurus that want to push SEO, Facebook ads, this, that, and the other thing, their, their marketing technique is to push out new guys. That might be you. Okay, so it's kind of beneficial to you if you learned something and you got to start, start a business. But at the same time, they're gonna saturate residential work. Don't get into this with the mindset that there's a lot of work in residential, so you're just gonna stay residential forever. Cause you're gonna see the prices drop. It's coming, I promise you. This is gonna be just like lawn care. These are gonna be lawnmower prices to do house washes pretty soon. You wanna get into commercial. So a good way to do that is network, business to business. And then also, they'll invite you to like their company picnics and stuff. And you get to network with even more people there. They'll invite you to go golfing with them and their buddies. They'll invite you to go out to dinner here and there, get a couple beers. It's beneficial. So, basically, at first, as a new guy, I would hop on Facebook. I would start my Facebook business page. Uh, if you have money to boost it here and there, I'd boost it. When people like your boosted post, you can then invite them to like your page. And if you don't have any pictures, and you're not the type that wants to use other people's, just find something dirty and clean it, you know? Like, it's not, there's dirty stuff everywhere. Offer people a discount if they let you, like if you see something really, really dirty, be like, hey, if you allow me to put these pictures on my Facebook, my, my website, my whatever, use them for marketing, I'll, I'll do it for half the price, you know? When you're new, do stuff like that. Don't do it forever, but it'll help you, excuse me, boost your business. And don't ever be scared of, like a lot of people say, focus on one thing. For a lot of people, that, that's true, that works. For me, I can't sit still for more than 10 seconds. I need a bazillion things to do. Like if I, Today, I screwed up my schedule. It's noon, I'm going home already. I didn't make any money today, none. Really, well, I probably did, but not from pressure washing. So, the rest of the day, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna search property maintenance companies. I'm gonna search painters. I'm gonna search for different, uh, in property investors it's not gonna be a not profitable day for me down the line just today today I make no money but because of my efforts from today I'm gonna make money and that's something I strongly suggest you guys to do so listen everybody wants to just go to these lead generation services or 
pay somebody for Facebook ads, which don't work that great for service business. Um, they want to do that. And, and th there's a lot of trickery that goes along with marketing. You're going to have people call you and tell you the biggest lines of BS to get you to get them to do your websites, to do your Facebook. They're going to show you how many messages they got. I guarantee you half of those, at least, were people just accidentally, accidentally clicking. Facebook is a very attentive platform. You give them something to click, they're going to click it. It's going to cost you money. It's it's not the best form of marketing, in my opinion. I, I got to jump off here. I'm going to do another one more in detail. I'm just ranting, basically. But Craigslist, Facebook, free Facebook, Instagram, Nextdoor, flyers, like uh, direct mail, once you have enough, have the money. Banners on your vehicle, nothing better than that. Just drive professional. I know we all get road rage sometimes. Just try to hold it in. Um, and networking, soliciting. Don't go knocking doors. That will ruin your brand from the get-go. That looks desperate. That looks pathetic. You don't want to knock doors. What you want to do is, like you have to, though, call if you want to do commercial stuff. For, like plazas. Uh, I did a video on how to find plazas and property maintenance professionals. If I find a plaza, I give it to the guy I work for, it, my property maintenance guy, because he is better equipped to deal with the paperwork, the they, they, they like the back and forth call a lot. Um, he's, you're going to need so much insurance, you have to have workman's comp. Sometimes it's a back door if you don't have workman's comp yet if you're just a so solo panor like just yourself you don't have workman's comp because you don't have employees doesn't matter some of these companies require it no matter what that's like a back door working for property maintenance uh companies but i'm, I'm getting completely sidetracked I'll, I'll do a better in-depth one on it but please for the love of god right off the bat don't just push your google my business out there make sure you wait till you have the money saved up and get in the neighborhood you want to get into because you citations are basically where you're cited on the internet it's like a digital thumbprint and you don't want a bazillion misleading citations whenever it comes time for you to do your seo build your website but uh yeah please join our facebook group like share you know share information that you're learning it helps us all grow um i'm, I'm i strongly suggest everybody does their own marketing at first just because there's so many sharks out there wanting to take advantage of you. And also, a lot of these guys that are pushing marketing the hardest are the guys that are building these groups to push out new guys. So basically, you're financing your own demise. You're financing the death of the industry that you're trying to start a business in, right? So yeah, at first, you gotta do residential. Get in there, push Facebook, push Craigslist, push Nextdoor, whatever and basically further your education as you do that and build up into more commercial because that's that's the last thing that's going to hold on the residential is going to be undercut in a minute because of these gurus but it's what it is can't knock somebody for for doing what they do i guess but thanks for watching now i don't want to shut off no shut the offy